What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here. So I've been getting a lot of comments, people just commenting. Whenever I start a video, I usually like to set the units and I usually set them to meters or centimeters depending on what kind of a project am I working with. And people are really annoyed because they do this on every single video. It's kind of something that's always repeating and people are always pissed off and they're like, why don't you set the template units? Why do you always do this? This is annoying. Why do you always torture us with this? Well, I usually like to start my videos just from the generic template that Revit comes with and that's why, why I do this. So even someone that's watching my videos for the first time and doesn't know how to set the units will learn that. But anyway, for all of you that are annoyed with it, today I'm going to show you how to create a project template in Revit and I'm going to show you how to set every, not only the units but all of the families, system families and everything that goes along with it. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and as you can see here we've got some options and if I want to start a new project, as you can see here, we've got a bunch of templates offered over here. So we've got a construction template, an architectural template, a structural template and a mechanical template. Now this is just the differences depending on what profession are you in. So let me just select the architectural template for now just to show you what does this template entail. So when we start, of course the units, so if I type in UN for project units you can see we've already got some units set up over here. Now this is a metric template so it's got metric units. If you're using an imperial template it will be of course different. But it already has some basic units set up over here. And you, if you change this now to, let's say, meters, and I've hit OK, next time when I oper open a new template, it will be back at millimeters. So it doesn't stay at what you set it with, it stays what the template is. Another thing that comes with templates is all of this. So when you open up, you see you can you have here these four elevations. And we if we go here to the project browser, we have four elevations, east, north, south, and west. And we've got also got two floor plans, level one and level two. We've got a site plan, which is, well, a site plan. And we've got a couple of ceiling plans. So this is all of all of this is what comes with the architectural template. And then also we've got some families. So we've got some doors, for example, you've got one type of a door, but different sizes. Or if you go here, you've got uh, some windows. Usually it, it was just this fixed window, but with I think with Revit 2019 you've got more of these windows, these new types. Then if you go here you've got some components, so if you go to components you've got a bunch of components. And if you go to massing and site you can see you've got the site components, so you've got a bunch of trees. So all of this stuff is loaded in. So whenever you open this Revit up, all of this will be included. Also, you've got system families. Now, what does that mean? That means if you go here, you've, uh, if you go to wall, you can see you've got a bunch of these walls already made up. So you've got all of these walls. And even all of this, if you see, this is just a uh, annotation sort of sort and this is not the generic annotation this is also loaded in the project and if you want to see all of the families that are loaded in you can go here to uh, families you can open this up in the project browser and you can search here go through all of the families and you can see everything that's loaded in for example let's go to walls you can see and we, if we go to basic walls you've got all of your basic walls over here so basically that's how project templates work and that's all of the stuff you get with a project template. Now of course this might not work for you. You maybe don't want to have all of these walls. Maybe you want to have to start off in different units. You want to start off in meters. You want to have just the three walls that you have created. You don't want to have this these components. You want to have your own furniture. I mean you don't maybe need this mountain pattern or whatever this is parking space. Maybe you don't want that. So let's see how you create your own 
uh, your own template. So let me close this project up. No, I'm not going to save it. And let's create our own template. Now, there are two ways to create your own template. You can create your template from scratch and that's not something that's really not fun and then or you can create it from an existing template now let me show you both ways so let's go here to new and when you open this new project up you get this option you can either go you choose the template you start off with and you choose are you creating a new project or a new project template so these are basically two different types of files project templates are not for projects they're just for templates and they're just for the starting off position so if I go here to none and go so no template and let's call it a project template so we want to create our own template from scratch I'm just going to hit OK and now we get this over here so we can choose the units so you can either go with Imperial or metric I'm going to go with metric because that's what I use in my country and if you're use Imperial just go with Imperial okay and this is what you get so you're starting off a project and as you can see there are no elevations you go here to views you open them up you get some structural floor plans or ceiling plans but if you open them up you just get level 1 you don't get anything else no sections no elevations nothing no site plan zero and if you open up families over here and let's search for for walls for example and let's go for basic walls you get nothing you get wall one and if you go to components no components you go to massing and side side components no side components so you basically get nothing and this can be a long time to basically to to find everything that you need and to load it in the project and it's hard off just starting off even if I go let's go here and let's go to units so let's see okay the units are at millimeters let's set them to meters for example and let's create a basic wall over here just to have something on our screen so we have this wall and let's say we want to create some elevations so if I go here to view and go to elevation let's see okay elevation and if I place elevations over here you can see I'm going to have some elevations and if I open them up here there one two three and you can see the sign it's the wrong sign why is it this ugly circle with a line because there are no annotations loaded in so if I go over here and go to families let's go here and let's see annotation symbols you can see we've got nothing for annotation symbols so we need to even load this in so you would need to go to insert and go to load family and then go to back to US metric annotations then find I don't know elevation mark let's say I want to do this one square let's see yeah let's do the square one you open it up then you need to select this whole elevation then you need to go over here you need to find this elevation point let's go filled arrow okay apply okay so all this, all this work just to get this regular uh, elevation symbol so if you're starting off from scratch it can be it can take a lot of time just to set everything up so that's why I don't recommend this now an easier way is to start off with an existing template that you have and use and then to subtract and add what and subtract what you don't want and add what you want to have so let's see how that would work so let me close this off so this template nope and let's create our own so go again to new go to project template and let's start off with an architectural template and hit OK so the first thing I, I need to fix is the project units I need to start off from meters so let me type in UN and let's start off from meters go OK OK next thing I always find annoying is this size of this these here elevations if you use the measure tool you can see they are at 50 meters right now and usually my projects when you load them in usually there's some sort of a site plan and they're usually more than 50 meters so let's make that 100 so I'm just going to select this and use the move tool MV is the shortcut and just extend this by 25 meters all of these so we're going to have kind of a larger work area next thing I'm going to do is 
let's say I don't like working in 1 to 100 so let me change the scale to 1 to 200 you usually start off with a larger scale and then you change the scale as the project gets more detailed so let me change that to 200 and I like the detail level at medium for these projects and then you would have to go and change that to all of the other uh, views that you have maybe two elevations as well you need to change them to 200 and usually I like to extend these they're not enough and also one more thing I like to have three levels and I like them to be at three meters each so let's change that and let me type in LL and go here create a new level so we've got three levels right now so I'm quite happy with that and they're at 200 medium and then you would of course want to set that up for everything so go to 200 and go here to medium and I'm not going to do the other ones who cares next thing is walls so if I go here to walls I've got a bunch of these walls I really don't care about them especially the interior ones and how do you remove a wall so if I go here to wall let's go to interior edit type I can't delete it I don't know where to do that so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go here to the project browser scroll down a bit and find here families open this up scroll down and let's find walls okay open the walls up let's open the basic wall and let's go and let's delete all of the interior ones so you just select them all you right click and you hit delete and now if we go to wall no, no more interior walls I'm happy one more thing, I've got this generic, these generic walls over here and I've got a 200 and I've got a 300 and I really would like to have a 100 for interior walls. I don't like the ones they offer, I like to create my own. So let's go to generic, go to edit type, duplicate this wall and let's call it 100 and go OK and go OK. So if we go now we have a 100 in the generic, we've got 200, we've got 300. Okay, so those are all the things you want to have. And one more important thing, you don't want to model anything over here. So you don't want to have anything modeled, you're just setting up the template. And of course for components you would go to insert and load all of the components. For example, if we go to structure and go to beam, I only have this ugly universal beam and I like to have concrete beams loaded in and let me just load in some uh, concrete beams so structural framing concrete rectangular open up okay so let's say I've got all of the things that I need right now for this project template and let's save it so I'm just going to go file save save to desktop and let's call it template one who cares save it and we're done so let's just close this project off this project template and let's start off a new project so let's go to new and here let's leave it at project we're just starting off a project we're not going to make any more settings to the template and let's go to browse desktop choose our project template select it go OK and we're over here so first thing you can see if I go to measure if I go from here to here, it's actually 100 instead of 50. I'm happy. The scale is 1 to 200. And if I go to draw a wall, and let's go with this, you can see I've got generic 100. And if I draw a wall, it's actually in meters and not millimeters. So I'm happy with that. And as you can see, all of the things that we did, they're working now if we go see here we've got three levels not two levels so I've got all of the things that I wanted to add I have them if I go to walls and search over here you can see I don't really have any interior walls but they have the one that I created so all of the things I wanted to add they're now in the project and of course you can do additional settings you can change this elevation mark or whatever you want to change you can do that and you can do this if you're just a student and want to have a project template that works for you or if you're working for a company and you want to create a project template that both you and your colleagues would use this would be great for that as well 
Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. I hope you will implement this new knowledge of project templates to make your workflow a lot quicker and better. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.